Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. Check this out, guys. I have been AFK here just a little bit, just a little bit, maybe overnight, and look at what we've got. <laughs> Almost a double chest full of steak and leather. We are good to go on steak and leather. Even had a few raw ones. Out of all the cows that died, too, somehow... I don't even know how that happened. I guess... He died right when he stopped being on fire or something? I have no idea. <laughs> but we got two raw beasts in there. But holy cow, look at this thing. It is definitely, definitely productive. It is working great. It is working really good. I'm happy with it. Now, now, with that said, <laughs> there is something I want to do. I want to give it a slight upgrade today, guys. Because I had a an amazing comment in the last video from the one, the only, Nembon MC. You guys should be familiar with him, with his name anyway. He is the inventor of the Blaze Farm that I used on the server, as well as a few other things uh, that have been on the server. I think Azuma's done some, some inventions of his and uh, some other people as well. So uh, he's really, really smart. He had this great comment, and it was in regards to how we are turning on the wheat collection system. So right now it requires us to stand on this pressure plate, um, which activates that redstone line you guys remember from the last video and then you know that goes down and that turns on the minecart system well the thing about that is there's a few places on in the super chunk where we're gonna want to do that right we're gonna want to turn on the wheat collection if I'm at my skelly farm I mean basically anytime I'm kind of around this area it would be cool if that was collecting wheat uh, just so we can have it right so his idea was Oh, there's a creeper in there. Oh, oh man, that was close. What? I should probably, I should probably light that place up. Oh man, these guys have been, yeah, yeah, I've been AFK, and it looks like we've got some uninvited guests in here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Lesson learned. Light that place up. You got it. That's coming soon. Oh man, this whole thing. Anyway, um, his idea was that we could use chicken a chicken as a player detector which is really smart so apparently if we are within 32 blocks range of a chicken uh, it will wander uh, it'll wander around you know occasionally uh, you know at least once every five minutes it's gonna it's gonna wander wander a few blocks right so if we use that mechanic to basically trigger the minecarts to go collect the wheat and that happens you know every you know less than five minutes we'll be able to get the wheat before it despawns and stuff like that and that way we can put the chicken kind of anywhere we want here in the super chunk just about and as long as we're within 32 blocks range of those chicken that chicken um, we're good to go so like if we put it you know anywhere like even even here or back in there um, even could probably put it up there and still get away with being in our skelly farm that looks like it might be yeah it's probably good um, so we're gonna find it that's what we're gonna do today <laughs> that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna put this chicken player detector in that's gonna know whether or not we are just in and around the super chunk and that way we can collect wheat no matter what we don't have to stand on a specific spot or every time we have some sort of new AFK spot you know we don't have to worry about connecting it to that thing so I'm gonna go over to my little storage room and grab some stuff so we can test this thing out I think it's gonna work great I'm excited about it thank you Nembon MC for that suggestion in fact it's so amazing I'm gonna link you guys to his channel because he's got a lot of cool stuff on his channel I really encourage you guys to go check out his channel and uh, give him some support for having such amazing ideas in the Minecraft community for a while now uh, but anyway yeah link will be in the description so if you guys want to go check him out you can do that uh, meanwhile I'm gonna get some stuff together and uh, we'll get this Thing going all right I think I found a suitable spot here it's gonna be tucked kind of in the corner here this is where the villager trading center is so above us you can see is where we did the cows so you can see that well you can't really see but the, you can see the redstone line coming down from where we were doing the mushroom cow farm up there so it's just I don't know maybe 10 blocks away 15 at the most over there and then down here we have probably another 15 or so blocks we have the skelly spawner so we're well within the range of the chicken so it should be able to wander just fine what we need to do now is put in a pressure plate and observer system so that we can detect the chicken moving around so in order to do that let's just plop down some observers kind of tricky here 
here because we gotta we gotta place these observers facing down because we want the redstone signal to come out the bottom here and so we're gonna do a three by two right there and then what we'll do is try to pick up on that signal right underneath like this we'll put the redstone down there so basically anytime the chicken walks on a pressure plate we should be able to basically just steal that signal out and oh man it is a tight squeeze in here it is definitely a tight squeeze let me see if i can sneak through here without causing any problems here maybe just maybe i can create a little pathway <laughs> so i can get around this thing all right good um i actually that is the outer wall there i might have more room in here than i thought because we're technically underground now and it shouldn't harm anything, so that's good. Um, <laughs> I don't want any more mob problems like you saw earlier, so we will light that up a little bit. So yeah, now if, if we go back up and we take a look at this here, <laughs> where can I go? I don't even know where I can go. Uh, here? Yeah, I guess. This is where we wanna put the chicken inside of here, so we're gonna need to put down some pressure plates so as they walk across, it causes updates to that um, you can't see it but as I do this there should be there should be redstone flashing down below and so every time the chicken walks around we can pick up on that and let's just get a chicken oh first try I look at this I brought all these eggs and first try well sort of he's he's kind of stuck in the glass isn't he hmm maybe we'll go give him a little push running out of, oh geez yeah <laughs> <laughs> pushed him the wrong way never mind about the first try thing oh we could do this um, if I open this up water's gonna flow in yeah let's do that and then the water will push him in that's a good idea then we can get him <laughs> and there he goes he's making his way out trying to escape <laughs> there we go he's in all right you guy are gonna be our wanderer so I hmm I'm a little worried about this. These guys like to suffocate on solid blocks, um, pretty much all hostile mobs. So let's replace some of these solid blocks here so that if we you know, move out of the chunks and we reload the chunks, if he's like part, like right next to a block like he is now, it's not gonna reload with him partially in the block and suffocate him. I think that will save the day right there since we can get away with it. And I don't, yeah, you can't see that from the outside, which is nice. Okay, good to go. So now what we need to do is figure out how to steal this signal. Oh, yeah. No, I don't really. I, I wonder if I named him if it would work the same. Probably not. <laughs> so yeah, you can see just as I'm standing here, he's going to just occasionally wander around. As we build this thing up, we'll probably get a good chance to see that. Now, the biggest problem we're going to have now is we only have a, a one tick pulse coming out of here. So every time he moves, right there boom boom and see it kind of gets flashy a little bit uh, we don't want it to be so flashy so what we want to do is take some of these comparators and we're going to get a little signal extender going um, i need to f remember exactly where our pistons are because that's where we want to bring the signal down to so that block right there is what we would ultimately want to power uh, so if we do power this block right here then that will then power that redstone and so on and so forth so this is where we're going to just kind of drop this signal down to so let's get this going a little bit if we were to do something like this i guess we can just come off this side here that'll be just fine we'll put a comparator there actually is that how we want to do it um no let's come out one let's come out one let's do this let's take some redstone let's go like that then into a comparator and we don't need to extend it for super long here so let's put a because um, we want the signal to go down by one every time so let's put a block here and then redstone dust there repeat or another comparator there and then we should be able to just do something like this and now let's take a look at this and see if this works so the next time he moves around we should have a little bit longer of a signal coming out of of this right here so let's find out. I'm just kind of going to wait here for him to move. And we'll see if this extends the signal just long enough. We need it just long enough to get our minecart moving at that point. So we can just send it on, go down, collect the wheat, come back. If it's back off by that point, no big deal. It'll sit there. The chicken will move again. 
and good to go. That looks perfect. I think that's going to work. Nice timing also, chicken. Thank you for your, your help with the demonstration here. <laughs> so now at this point, we just need to uh, basically run this line. We could just kind of wrap it down, actually, and get right to, right to that. Now, this might be a little tricky. We might have to just wrap it kind of spiral action. So if we do this, it's not that far, I guess. And then that should activate the piston. So let's see if he can. Can you help us out again, chicken? Can you give us a little help here? Just just, just wander. Wander around just a little bit so we can see that piston fire. All right, I guess he's being shy today. No problem, no problem. Maybe maybe now he'll get moving. But I did, I did think about this a little bit. If he kind of just wanders off of one pressure plate onto another one. We're gonna get, we're not gonna get uh, a strong enough, oh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. See it flashing? He's kind of like wandering in between two pressure plates kind of back and forth. So I think what we need to do is actually get ourselves a repeater. Let's try that. Let's put a repeater in so we can grab that one tick pulse and extend it a little bit longer and then bring that into the comparator. I think that's gonna keep it from you know, flashing on us to see if I have a repeater in here. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to have to make one. Please tell me I have the stuff at least. Um, good, good, good. All right. So let's just make, we only need one repeater. I'm not sure why I don't have any repeaters in my redstone box. That would have been nice, but hopefully this will help. We're going to have to rearrange some of that. You're being great. You're being great guy. Keep up the good work. We'll get this figured out. Don't you worry. All right. So if we do this now, we're going to move this just a bit. Um, and this actually could end up being helpful. So if we take that off, now we can take a repeater signal out of that. Then we'll go on four ticks there. Um, then we'll just do into a deal like this. Now into our pulse extender. And I think that's going to be much better here. So we can do that, that, and that. And now, there you go. Look at how long that, that signal lasts for, and then it drains out, which is nice. And it happens every time. So there we go. You can see they're extended. That would have been long enough to send the carts on their way. And I think we're going to be good to go now. So I guess the true test is for me to just kind of go up, up top here. We don't have the pressure plate hooked up to this anymore. So I'll go up top and I'll just kind of stand around the cow farm a little bit. And we'll wait and we'll watch and we'll see if any wheat comes our way. And if it does, then we'll know it is all because of our buddy, <laughs> our, our chicken buddy up here that likes to wander around. <laughs> so that's awesome. That's awesome. We can basically be anywhere around the super chunk now. And thanks to this guy liking to just walk around, we can get our wheat collected. All right, guys, I'm going to go up top. I'm going to see if this is actually going to continue working. Oh, we just saw some wheat come in there. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, he's making it happen. That's all you, buddy. And we're not even standing in one spot. I love it. <laughs> all right, guys, let me get up top. We'll make sure that I'm still within range to make this thing happen. All right, so I've been standing here a few minutes and finally see what I want to see. And that is the wheat coming through. You can see I'm not on the pressure plate anymore. That redstone line's not lit up. This is all due to our chicken. And down it goes. Of course, if I was standing there, I'd pick it up. And that's exactly what I want to see. So awesome, awesome. I really do appreciate this idea, Nimbon, if you're watching. Uh, that is awesome, man. I'm, I'm excited about this because now I don't have to worry about where I'm at in the super chunk. I'll just be collecting wheat all the time and we'll get a nice, nice stock of wheat going. Uh, so that's awesome, guys. That's awesome. <laughs> so what we're going to do next, guys, is I was told, I was told that my mystic that I'm looking for, I don't know if, I don't know if you guys knew. <laughs> you maybe don't even know. Um, I I have been tr trying to play the Hermitron game a little bit, but because I am not like on the server all the time due to my time limitations, I never find booster packs anywhere. I never find them. I see my Vindicator hopping up and down over there. <laughs> I did anyway. I never find I never find booster packs ever. I, I haven't been lucky and found any. So I. I've, I've not been scoring any points yet, but I was told that there's actually a mystic I, I've been looking for to help me complete my set uh, over in the trade chest. It's just in the trade chest because now the new rules state that you can only hang on to one mystic at a time. So yeah, somebody must have said, okay, well, I'm not working towards that set. I'll go ahead and, and just trade it. So I wanted to go down there. I'm not holding any 
Hermitrons, right? Because there's that rule that if you go in with a Hermitron, you can't leave with a Hermitron type thing. Um, so I'm not holding any. I just want to go look. I just want to go look and see if it happens to still be there. This this could be, I could be late to the party here. But let me go down to Hermitron Hall and take a look and see if it's down there. And if it is, we need to figure out how we can get our hands on it. Ooh, this is my last Ender Pearl. Um, I'm just going to try to fly. I'm going to try to fly. I've uh, been having a hard time with my elytra on the server lately, um, but that seemed to sort of work. Um, so, yeah, let's go. We're, we're right here. We're right here. I was going to make a cut um, since it was travel, but no, we're right here. Let's just go. And I want to show you something that you may not have seen yet because I worked on it on live stream. Now, I didn't put a lot of time or anything into my plot, uh, but I do I do want to show you guys it anyway because it was kind of a lot of work uh, putting all this lava in. It doesn't look terrible, right? We got the logo in the wall. We got the new black concrete blocks. You know, my <laughs> you know I had to go with some quartz and stuff. We got lava falling from the ceiling. Thought about do doing the ceiling, redoing the ceiling, doing you know like Cub has his going on. So kind of have lava next to lava, but that's okay. Then this guy. <laughs> And this guy had to come in and completely show me up taking the plot across from mine, doing all sorts of crazy, you know, redstone stuff. You come in here, it's all dark, and I don't even know. I don't even know how this works. I guess I'm supposed to pop down here or something. I, I'm probably doing this all wrong. And then the wall comes down, and he doesn't even have any armor. He's got the T logo, lights up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then I think if we walk out at the proper speed, something happens. I don't know. Let's us out. Anyway, <laughs> he's got these guards here. Yeah, Tenko did an amazing job on his. Really, really cool. So now I'm just kind of like, I didn't even want to show you guys at first. But yeah, you can see I've been collecting the A set, what are the Alpha 5, and then I got some rares and uncommons, blah, blah, blah. I'm missing three still. I don't have my Mystic. And so let's take a look in the chest here and see. There's an A5 uncommon that I don't have. I don't have the carrot, right? So that's useful. Um, there's another common. I think I had that one. I do. Let's take a look. Is this an A5? No. It's all gold type stuff. So maybe maybe it's not in here. I think I skipped a chest, though. Did I skip this middle chest? Um, there's another A5 common that I don't have. So I'm just, I'm not taking this. I'm just, I'm just moving it. I'm just reorganizing this. Okay, there. Um, so there's two that I don't have, right? I don't have those two. Um, but I'm still missing the Mystic, the A5M. And I'm assuming it would be gold, right? Uh, I don't think I see it in here. So maybe it is... That's a common. Maybe it's no longer in here. Unless I'm missing it. I'm going to keep hovering over just in case it's like not gold or something. Um, A5. I don't think I've missed any here. There's a lot going on. A4. Maybe it was uh, put back into, you know what I mean? Maybe he took it out and it's back into, you know, circulation, <laughs> if you will. Um, I'm going to keep looking. False is joining. There's the common. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I, I guess I missed my chance. Um, I think Mumbo, from what people were saying, Mumbo was the one that put it in there. That's common. Uncommon that I already have. Hmm. Darn. Okay. So maybe I'll just have to wait for Ren to distribute some more booster packs. Or there might be... I heard that there's some sort of, like, shop that I can go to and like purchase my own booster pack like once a week or something. So, okay, I think I went through all of them. It's no longer in here, but if I can get my hands on some more Hermitrons, I can trade for these two and I'll almost have a full set just missing the Mystic and we'll have to figure out how to get our hands on that. So, all right, let me go see if I can find this shop that I've heard so much about. I'll be right back. All right, here we go, we're here. It's this big blue cube, it's pretty nice. I like the, uh, the combination of the blue and the orange. I think that's pretty cool. But here we go, we got a Hermitron Depot. We get one map per Hermit per week. And a treasure map costs 10 diamonds, which I have on me. So my box is back here in the back and right here. So I'll go ahead and just trade that out. Let's see what this tells us. Um, it gives us coordinates. Okay. All right. That's simple enough. So I guess we'll travel to these coordinates and see 
if there is any kind of booster pack sitting there that hasn't already been found. Hopefully not. So, okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to go find this place. Wish me luck. Okay, so the book says negative 1508, 63279. And... Look at where we're at. Negative 1508, 81. Close enough. Boom. <laughs> we found it. We found it. Awesome. It says reserved for impulse. That's nice that it's reserved so nobody else can take it. I like it. Well worth the 10 diamonds, I would say. Now, let's see if we can get lucky and get that mythic. Huh? Huh? Any chance it's in here? I'm going to clean this up too. I don't want to leave this stuff behind. And, oh my gosh, I'm afraid to open this thing. Come on. Please be something good. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? We got 6C. We don't need that. We got 6U. We got 8C. 5R. I think I already have that one on the board, if I remember right. 8U and 5C. So, yeah, the fives that are in here we already have, which isn't great. Now, let's see. Now, False was, False was talking to me. Because <laughs> I had to ask her where the shop was. Let's see. Um, I asked. I told her what I needed, just in case she happened to be carrying it. And she also said, if I see a 2C, let her know. Okay. Let's see. Was there a 2C in here? No, I don't remember there being a 2C. Okay. So we can't help out false, unfortunately. Um, but we'll go ahead and take that. Oh, my goodness. Um, inventory. Hi. Yeah, as usual. Big problem. All right, let's just clean this up a little bit. I'm going to go back, and at least I have some Hermitrons now that are, are duplicates that I can put in the chest and then make some trades and almost complete my set. So let me get back to Hermitron Hall and at least get the board updated. All right, so I was strolling through here with my new booster pack thinking, I'm good to go. I'm getting so close to finishing the fives. And I looked over and noticed Iskol has a lot of gold stuff up on his wall, including the one and only A5 Mythic. There's only one of these printed per tribe, as far as I know. What's up, Mr. Creeperhead over there? Um, yeah, that pretty much makes it impossible for me to complete this set, because all he needs is, is one more of the five series there or whatever and it looks like he just needs to replace that rocket and that that rod in there so i guess the only thing we can do is try to slow him down <laughs> since we can't score any points and now that you can only have one mythic at a time really the key is just to <laughs> fall downstairs it's just to find a mythic i guess I I as soon as you see a mythic then that's the set you should be going for. So there's all this gold stuff in the chest. He could, I mean, they're commons, there's an uncommon. But he probably doesn't want the commons to finish the set off, is my guess, because that would, that would make it so, you know, he doesn't get as many points. And maybe that's why he hasn't just come in and traded right now on this chest and, and just finish the set off. Um, but I could at least, I could at least just take mine, right, and... You know, I have a common here. I have a rare. I'm not going to give him that. I'm not trading that in. But I got a few. I got a couple commons here that maybe I can I can switch out and at least then potentially take some points away from him. <laughs> so let me switch that one. That's an uncommon. And these are common. Oh, not much I can do here. Here's an uncommon. Let's switch that one out as well. And then uh, I can't walk out of here with any of the other stuff. So I'm going to have to just put those up on my wall at least so that he can't have them. <laughs> kind of a bummer. I think his skull's kind of running away with this game here. <laughs> Getting all the mythics and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's, that's too bad. I really don't think I can complete that set now. So let's just go ahead and do this. I'll just take my rare just to kind of rub it in his face that I have it. Not that it's going to matter. And then everything else, since I've got my board filled, um, all the rest of the stuff, I guess I just, I, I just leave. I just leave behind. Um, and that will go back into circulation. Um, it was this bucket here. And then this guy. Well, I mean, I paid 10 diamonds, I guess, and at least got a cool black, black shulker box. <laughs> I might not be completing any Hermitron sets today. But, oh well. We gave it a go. We gave it a go. I'll continue to look around as I can. <laughs> and we'll see. We'll see if I can just happen to stumble upon a mythic. I think that's the only way 
I'm going to uh, to, to score any points here. <laughs> I just want to take it. I just want to take it off his wall. <laughs> I won't do that. I won't do it. All right, guys. That's going to do it for me today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.